Now you were telling me before we started the interview that um, you, you often make mistakes or, or forget things on stage. Did I say that? Yes, you did. No. <laughs> you did, and I'm bringing it up. <laughs> when, when was the last time you had to cover something up on stage? <laughs> The last, the last time I performed anything. <laughs> <laughs> now, I imagine you're quite suave and the audience doesn't know when, when you're covering something I, I, Well, I hope so. I, I, you know, I, I, the people who are touring with me, um, mm. uh, I, sometimes I come up and say, oh, God, I got that wrong and I made a mistake there and I did, sang the wrong words here. Mm. And, and they say, oh, well, we didn't notice. And they see it every night. So well, that's pretty good then. Yeah, yeah. Has there ever been a time, maybe when you were starting out, when you actually really did make a big blunder that you couldn't recover from? Well, I have to admit that um, in order to get this job as songman in Warhorse, I had to. L I'm a guitar player, um, and I had to learn to play an instrument called a melodeon. And the melodeon is like an accordion, but it's got buttons on on both ends, okay. and it plays different notes when you pull and push the bellows. So it's really quite a complicated thing, and normally it takes years for people to learn to play. Um, but when I was offered the part, they said I would have to learn to play this within six weeks. What? Uh, within the six weeks rehearsal period. That's quite a condition. Absolutely. You have the part, but... Absolutely. So I would say for the first two weeks of performance, um, it was 50-50 whether <laughs> I... Whether I got it right or not. Did uh, anybody notice? I, nobody seemed to notice, but I noticed. <laughs> uh, be, because with this instrument, you know, if you you can have your fingers on the right buttons, but if you're not pulling the bellows the right way, it doesn't play the right notes. And for me, it would s it sounded horrendous, you know. But <laughs> mostly people didn't didn't know. In those six weeks, tell me how long were you practicing? You must have been stressed time. out. All, all the time, absolutely all the time. And the thing is, I didn't actually learn to play the instrument. That was too difficult. What I did was I learned how to play the songs, and that was slightly different. Yeah. So, so now, in fact, in the show um, that I'm doing, I, I, I do one of the songs with this instrument. And it's fantastic because people go, wow, you're really good on that. Play something else. And you're and like, so no, no, no. I can't play anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I can only play that one song. You know? There's a very short list <laughs> of things I can do on yeah, here. Yeah. What's your favorite song um, that you're going to be performing in, in your performance? In, in War Horse, um, Oh, there are so many really lovely ones, and and they all do different. They all serve different purposes, you know. Um, but the one that I'd like, um, th I think the one I like the best is a, a song called "The Snow Falls," mm -hmm. and it comes in the play where young Albert, as a farm boy, and Joey, as a foal, um, grow up together over a number of years, eight, ten years or so. And as they do that on stage, Songman is on stage with them, um, singing a, a harvest cycle song, where at the end of every verse, a new year rises mm -hmm. and, and starts again um, and that's supposed to convey the fact that they are growing and growing on stage you know because in a film if you want 10 years to pass by you just put a caption up that says yeah. 10 years later but that's it's not as easy as it. that on, uh, on stage you know yeah. you've got to you've got to convey that somehow and that's the job that songman does a lot of the time wow you can't just have a sign that says 10 years wow. has passed <laughs> well we, <laughs> we could but i think it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't have as much impact as the yeah. song yeah now, you showed me a picture before the interview of, of your granddaughter yeah. on, on one of the horses. Yeah. Tell me about your family's reaction the first time they saw you as the song man. Oh, well, they were just blown away like everybody else was. Of um, course. And, and in fact, when I went mm. uh, and said, you know, uh, they've offered me this part, but I don't know if I can take it because it means I have to go and live in London um, mm. and I can only come home on a Sunday. So, that, you know, I, I live um, sort of 300 miles north mm. of London. Li I live right in the north of England. Um, and I, you know, I said, I don't really know, what, know if I should do it because uh, I'll be away six days a week. I'll only get home on a Sunday for a few hours and then mm -hmm. I'll have to go back. And I was really not sure whether I should do it or not. But all my family said, you've got to do it. You've got to do it. It's fantastic. You know, and then we can come and see you in London and, and all of that. So, yeah, they, they, they loved it. Absolutely loved it. Jeez, they must be so incredibly proud of you every time they see you perform. I think so, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. Now, it sounds like an incredible performance. When do we get to see you do your performance at the Theatre on the Bay? Okay, well, I've, um, I start tonight, which is the 8th, um, and I do a performance every night until the 12th. So I'm here from the 8th to the 12th. Well, I can't wait to see it. Fantastic. I'm finally going to get my war horse story. Great. If you go out to see this play, let us know what you thought of it in the comments section below. And if you want tickets to go out and see Bob, you can get those at the Theatre on the Bay.